first of all, it's going to tell you the current time. Okay, this is in days, hours, minutes, I highlight minutes, 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 there we go, and seconds. Okay, what the current uptime is of the radio. Everything else in the syslog is in time since boot, okay, or uptime. So this is hour six. This was at hour zero, therefore it was six hours ago. Okay. I can see all the settings that happened when the radio was turned on. Okay, I can see my RF link was down, down, down. Oh, there came my RF link. Uh, down, down, down. Oh, there it was back again. Plugged in my Ethernet at minute four. I did something with egress, blah, 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 blah. Uh, hour four, this is when we just started this. Okay, so an hour ago, a little bit over an hour ago, I turned the ODU power off, remember? Um, at some point here, I turned the ODU power back on, at which point I got a link again. Okay, da da da, see this. I turned on ATPC, remember that, right here? Turn ATPC on. And then here it was, sending less power, less power, less power. So here's a key thing you know about ATPC. Make sure you set your target RSSI to something that's obtainable. If you set your target RSSI to negative 30, and at max power, the most it can get is negative 45, you're going to have a lot of entries in your syslog that say, send me more power. Okay? So make sure your target RSSI is obtainable, otherwise you're going to see a lot of this. And then I changed my target RSSI here to negative 35, that was the setting, and then you can see the power ups start. And you can tell it does it twice a second, for every time. Lots of this, lots of this, lots of lots of lots of Okay, you can see I cleared the counters here. Uh, you can see I activated, oh, here's the reload in 15 minutes, then I canceled it. Uh, here's when I did the auto loop back, okay, it turned off the Ethernet ports, it turned off the ODU power, it set it into IF loop back. Of course, when it did during that, it lost the link, then the link came back. Now we captured the statistics, statistics, and we went digital loop back. Back up. Then we turned loop back off. We turned the ports back on. The link was down. Then the link came back up. So we're talking. Okay, there's this log. Okay. So in my case, I have 515 lines in almost six hours. You could export this to a file. Same caveat applies. You've got to actually go in and grab the file. Here's what you would do. Copy. Way easier than exporting the file, but okay.